Dr. Young, why is it important for emergency physicians to be able to estimate children's weight accurately? Well, most emergency resuscitation medications are dosed based on a weight. If a child is too sick to be weighed on the scale when they're brought in, we need a way to know how much medication to give. Okay, so we looked at 80 studies of estimating weight in children. What were the most common methods? Some studies looked at parental report or healthcare workers essentially guessing the weight. A popular method taught to doctors is to use mathematical formulas based on the child's age. Another popular method is weight based on length. A measuring tape is placed next to the child and the weight is read out from the tape based on how long the child is. Are the increasing obesity rates affecting the accuracy of weight estimation methods? Yes, and some methods have been developed to adjust for that, either by including an estimate of body type or another measurement such as wrist circumference. So overall, which methods are the most accurate? Parent estimation is found to be the most accurate, but parents are not always present initially, or they may be too distraught. Otherwise, length-based methods give the best estimate of ideal body weight, and length-based methods with body habitus adjustment give the best estimate of actual body weight. So, you're my co-author, and also my mom. Do you know how much I weigh? Mm, 140 pounds? Pretty close. <laughs>